Hello again, this is a Victorious Living video. So why are people dying early? Early, by that I mean long before they fulfilled their mission and their destiny in life. Why are they dying early? One of my friends in Uganda today is burying his brother. That brother is not uh, 70. He's not lived anything near 70. And let's have a look at this idea of 70. Is it biblical to assume that we live towards 70 years and that's it? Well, doesn't it say so in the Bible, David? Well, yes, it does. I'm glad you asked me that. Psalm 90. Let's have a look at what Moses wrote in Psalm 90 and verse 10. The days of our years are three score years and ten, seventy years. Or, if by reason of strength, four score years or eighty years. Well, I'm seventy-nine this year. So does that mean I've only got one year left? No, I've got too much to do. I'm too strong. I will live a long time past 80. How can I say that if we're supposed to only be here for 70 years? But this wonderful Bible that I've got has got footnotes. And this psalm was uh, credited to Moses. And uh, Moses is saying that most of the people who rebelled against God at Kadesh Barnea before reaching the promised land, most of them were dying at about 70 years of age. Now, this number has often been mistaken as a set span of life for all mankind, and it was never intended to be so. So when we hear about people say, oh, well, you've got 70, 70 years to live and that's it, that was only for the Israelites who had rebelled against God in the wilderness and they were dying early. So what age are we supposed to live to? Does it say anything in the Bible about that? Well, yes, it does. Way back in Genesis. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 3. Let me just quote you exactly. Genesis 6 and verse 3. God says this. The Lord says, My spirit shall not always strive with man. His days shall be a hundred and 20 years. God has never altered that. It only applied in that Psalm 90 to those who had rebelled against God and they were limited to 70 or 80 if they were strong. So 120 should be our expected lifespan. Psalm 91 is well known and you'll know that in verse 16 that God speaks about giving us a fulfilled and long life. He will satisfy us with long life and show us his salvation. That's Psalm 91 and verse 16. So why are people dying young, especially children? Now, children, people get very, very upset when their children die, and rightly so. But what happens to those children? Oh, well, God took them. It wasn't that God took them at all. God does not take young life. God wants to satisfy us with long life, not short life of just a few years. So what happened? There was iniquity in the bloodline. That's what happened. A young child is not accountable until they're at least eight, and some can argue until 12. Accountability means that they know what they're doing. They're doing something naughty, something wrong, something against their conscience. Then they are accountable for that themselves. Otherwise, they're too young. They, they don't know. And uh, if they die before that age, they go straight to heaven. And they'll be raised in heaven and they'll know you. And when you go to heaven, then they will recognize you and you'll be reunited as a family. Praise the Lord. So why is it that people are dying young? Well, for children, as I say, it's iniquity in the bloodline. They didn't do anything wrong, but it came down through the sins in their ancestry, which has never been dealt with. The bloodline, our bloodline, needs cleansing from iniquity. In other words, the repentance on behalf of our ancestors that needs to happen. 
I'm an exorcist. I used to these things. It gives the devil legal rights. If a person has a demon or is attacked by demons, it's because either their own sin or there is iniquity or sins in the bloodline and they need to be repented of and renounced. Now, why do people die? I keep on coming back to this question. Why are people dying early? The best reason I can tell you is because of Hosea 4 and verse 6. Now, that verse is a well-known verse, Hosea 4, 6. It says, my people, that is God's people, not talking about heathens here, we're talking about my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge because they have not got the knowledge or they have rejected the knowledge. We need to wise up and know what is good. The only thing that's keeping this, uh, keeping me on this planet is this, my physical body. So I have got to know about how to stay healthy. And I do not stay healthy by eating sugar or loads of, loads of maize or very unhealthy drinks, these fizzy drinks in cans and all those things. They contain loads of, of sugar and phosphoric acid and nasty additives. Stay away from these rather cool drinks that you go out and drink with friends. It'll kill you. Eat wholesome foods. I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't teach on this one video about what you should be eating, but do avoid sugar. Sugar is a killer. You either choose sugar or life. And if you don't know that, then you're going to get diabetes and diabetes is going to kill you early. This is happening so much in Africa. So many people that I hear are being buried in life. Life is short. Why? Because of diabetes, because of maize and all the other crops and genetically modified crops. Stay away from them. Wise up and get healthy and get all the knowledge you can because God wants you here to be his mouthpiece. You don't want me to die yet, do you? I'm giving you some good messages here. So pray for me. Pray for wisdom that David will stay a long time giving these uh, weekly, daily, regular messages online on this YouTube channel. God bless you. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you next time. Don't die prematurely.